Well, DeepSeek R1 just launched and everyone's in a tizzy and the stock market is crumbling down. Is America in trouble and is the AI industry in trouble? Oh my God, you should freak out, but hold up. No, you shouldn't. I'm here today to tell you a little bit about what's going on. This won't be a big deep dive. And in fact, if you stick around and you decide to subscribe, I'm getting ready to do a video where I'm going to set up the newest model from DeepSeek r1 so that we can actually test out the model itself i have seen a lot of different demos i've seen some other people that have installed these models and there's some things you should really know about that i think lessen the threat of this model so anyways who am i i'm hill Finham. i run a tech uh, company i've been involved in ai for a long time as a hobby i actually collect uh, llms or models i develop ai agents I do a lot of this stuff evolved in technology. I was on the cutting edge of cloud. That's kind of where um, I cut my teeth and, and started my first company when we were moving over to the cloud. I was a crypto miner, so I was really into GPUs and then that kind of just all evolved into repurposing some of my crypto miners into AI agents, AI uh, machines. So uh, you need GPUs to run AIs, just know that. And that brings us to our first point. You need to remember, this is a model. This is not a GPU that's gonna replace anything. This model relies on GPUs. This model was created by NVIDIA GPUs. So this idea that somehow all of a sudden, Amazon or uh, you know places like Facebook, Google, are gonna stop buying, buying NVIDIA's uh, processors, GPUs, uh, you know, that's just not gonna happen. That's not how it works, folks. So, they may, it may hurt people like OpenAI, it may hurt people like Elon Musk and, and stuff like that who are basically, in my opinion, ripping companies off anyways. But all it's going to do, in my opinion, is force that to come down. And remember, this is a Chinese product. So you have to understand the propaganda and the very true aspects of PSYOPs. They said they built this for five million. You know, whereas, you know, it was almost, you know, couple couple hundred, you know, a million for the first model and then you know a couple billion for the second model of uh, what we're seeing with open AI so from my perspective that is such a vast discrepancy I don't know if we can trust it but again that just shows you the threat is to the model it's not to the hardware that's running those models at all so this broader sell-off in the market and how it's hitting the video is kind of weird. It just really shows you that most of the public doesn't understand that this is a model. It's not a GPU. Uh, it's still, they built it. They said they built it on NVIDIA models, but they were able to build it more, you know, quicker, faster, more efficiently, and less expensive. But I mean, like, that's great, but it's also very biased. From what I've seen, if you ask it right now, is Taiwan part of China, it's going to tell you, yes, it is part of China. And it actually produces that response so fast that it seems like it's hard baked in. Now, all models have biases, and that's the biggest problem with AI is they're going to have whoever the creators are, whatever you ingest into that model, that LLM is you know going to be biased so ai models have this bias and and the fact that this response came back so far fast from r1 about taiwan indicated that that it wasn't going out and thinking and using ai it was hard coded so i think as people die in dive in they're going to find more and more of this type of eastern philosophy china first philosophy in my opinion, this is, is something that was done to test our markets again. This was done um, as something to see if there was any inroads here and how it could affect us. It clearly did. The, the stock market kind of crashed, especially around tech and AI. But again, it's just this great misunderstanding because even if companies decide to use, and again, they're gonna, you really think they're gonna decide to use a Chinese propaganda model, I think you're insane. That's just not gonna happen. I mean, folks, we, we, we're not allowed to, we're probably gonna lose TikTok and CapCut, which is the editing software I use. Um, you don't think we're gonna, and DJI is on a top chopping block, even though they cleared some hurdles, I think that'll be revisited. But the point of the matter is, is that politicians, governments, we're seeing laws come out now. You don't think R1 is gonna be subject to some of that stuff for either espionage or having this propaganda that's designed to sway us as Americans? It's only a matter of time. And further, do you really think that, I, I should know, I work with Google, they're one of my clients. Do you think Google 
is going to embrace Chinese propaganda and, and implement in their data centers models, A, that they didn't build, and B, like DeepSeek R1. It's just not going to happen. Now, you may, if, it, if they allow it to go on, you may see, you know, this would be cheaper chatbots for people like, um, you know, that are using it for AI agents or support agents. But even then, I'm someone who builds these models. I'm someone who hosts it all here locally in my home lab. This is, this is not something that um, people are, are it's, it's, it's just, it's not something that's super revolutionary. I think it's going to be something that's fun to play with, uh, but I just don't see it you know, going far into industry. And in fact, I have a distinct feeling, especially with this administration and what's going on, it's probably just gonna be used as a bargaining chip. Um, you know, I, I really just, in my opinion, yes, it's powerful. Yes, it's awesome. Yes, it's efficient, but it's also open source. So in my opinion, those companies, if they did want to use it, they could just download the open source model and bastardize it and strip out all the Chinese propaganda and links back to Chinese servers or whatever they may find in this code. More than likely in this code, there is something and it will be found, just like the gentleman found the response for Taiwan. So overall, just a quick reaction to what's going on with the R1 fallout. Um, again, deep seek R1 from China. I think you really, really need to pay attention, especially if you're an investor in the stock market uh, and especially in the tech space as well as into NVIDIA. Now, this isn't financial advice. I don't rarely do this. I'm not a financial channel, but I do invest heavily in crypto and into stock market. I bought NVIDIA today. And um, I don't know what it's at right now, but I'll probably continue to buy it. Yeah, you know, it's still at the same price I bought it for. I think this is a knee jerk reaction. It's well overdone. This is just, you know, it's on the top of all the marketplaces because everyone's testing it out. But again, people don't realize that it's being powered by NVIDIA. Uh, I don't know why they haven't made that connection yet. I am going, if you're interested in this stuff, I've been rambling enough right now. If you're interested in this stuff, please subscribe to my channel, like this video so it gets out to people. This evening, we may even try to do it live. I have, I've never really streamed, but I, what I'm going to do is um, I'm going to set up a new GPU cloud instance so I can get a really nice GPU. Um, I, yeah, I'm, I'm a cheapo. I, uh, I use smaller models and stuff because I don't want to buy a you know $2,000 uh, NVIDIA GPU at all. So um, I'm going to rent one in the cloud. We'll set that up and then I'll set up Olama, which is an open source AI model. And then what we'll do is we'll install DeepSeek R1. I'm gonna set that up live in a video so that you guys can watch that. And then you can test it out on your own. And hopefully this will give you an idea of, yes, it's a model, but it's still interacting with NVIDIA's GPUs. So I don't see data centers um, you know, going out of business because of this. They're gonna still buy NVIDIA um, GPUs. And in fact, I don't think anyone in their right mind, Google, Facebook, any American company is going to let loose a open source Chinese model onto their data centers. Folks, I think just a level of, and, and I can't even, I, I have to say this um, very carefully because I'm not trying to insult anyone, but a level of common sense, but you can't have that common sense if you don't understand how AI works. So again, if you're interested, subscribe to my channel, like it, up here will be a video when it's launched of us installing R1 and testing it out. I'm really, really, um, eager to see what type of biases I can find out and how much propaganda has been injected into this model. So I don't think it cost them five million. I think it cost them a lot more. They're still using NVIDIA GPUs and this is more than likely a PSYOPs or some type of um, malicious software in my opinion now um, that's probably designed to wreak havoc here. So be careful with it. Be careful with all Chinese. Um, um, applications and I'm not being a nationalist you should be careful of all applications make sure that you're not installing stuff that can uh, be very malicious and do some crazy things but we will install it I'm going to do it on someone else's data center uh, and in the cloud so it does not affect my system just in case this is the great American Chinese virus or something um, so I will uh, report back if you're interested like and subscribe and hit this video if it's launched if not Check out this video, that video, wherever it is, they're good too. Anyways, I'm Hill Phantom. I will see you in a few hours for a deeper dive.